Hello everyone, and welcome back to Global Education Zone. And in this episode of our Data Processing for SS3, we are going to be dealing with a topic called Internet. Now, the Internet, needless to say, is a very, very um, ubiquitous um, integration into our today world. And we can't get away with discussing data processing without talking about the Internet. Now, the internet can be seen as um, is a global system of interconnected computers, and each of these computers make use of a particular protocol known as the um, standard internet protocol suite. That's called TCP, and TCP stands for um, Transmission Control Protocol, and or you can also call this the IP, which is an um, internet protocol. Now, this protocol is basically the um, rules and regulations guiding the um, use of computers on a network and this network is the um, internet now this internet is a kind of global network because you make use of it when you open your phone when you on your data or you make use of your Wi-Fi and then you browse and then you go to social media now that data you use is part of what links you to the internet and most of us make use of broadband which is um, often provided by network prov network services but regardless of what you use the internet is still um, the same thing as that which is used with your um, mobile um, phone apps like your Facebook, your Twitter, your um, TikTok, and so on and so forth. Now, the internet is a network of networks that consists of millions of private and public um, computer users, also known as clients. Now, each of these ones connects to the internet by allowing the computer to access inform information, and this information comes from a server. Now, this connection to the internet is allowed when you are you have a, 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 an, an active internet connection and then with that connection you can connect to the server and then you can transfer information and resources anywhere around the world at the speed of light. So uh, technically some people might not really agree with the speed of light but actually on the um, basic electronic and um, networking levels is actually the speed of light because when you see, um, when you um, when you study all these um, waves, the waves which generate all these um, electri electronic pulses, they are actually waves that um, travels at approximately the speed of light. So that's why I said the speed of light. So now there are different types of um, um, applications that help us to access the internet. And these applications, they are known as internet browsers. Now one of them is the Internet Explorer and the Lab Firefox. Now for the Internet Explorer, it is kind of very popular with, um, with, um, with Windows and um, other personal computers, then Mozilla Firefox also use them. But for mobile phones, we often make it of Chrome, we make it of Google Chrome, we make it of um, of, from, of um, Bing, we make it of um, so on and so forth, all those um, brother. But no matter what you use, as long as it connects you to the internet, it is called an internet browser. Now, these internet browsers, they are applications, they are special applications which um, are used to access the internet and they are used to view web pages. And these web pages, they are actually made using um, web um, development applications. Now we're going to be talking about web development applications in another section of this um, episode, but let me give you a snippet. Web application is uh, the um, application that allows us to um, develop and open web pages. Now these web pages, they are often made using um, hypertext markup language, HTML, and um, cascading sheet style, and JavaScript, and so on and so forth. So the web development is kind of like a, a separate field in its own, it's a separate field of software engineering and we're going to be talking about those in a separate section of this video. Now let's talk about um, browse. What does it mean to browse? Browsing is a form, is a form of, um, of, 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 of um, using of the internet that is characterized by um, the process of moving from one place to another on the internet. And I like to see it as basically when you are in the market and you are trying to buy something and you are just trying to explore. So that is why you have a browser called Internet Explorer. It's kind of used to explore the the internet, the market called internet. Internet is kind of like a um, global market. You can find anything you want, any software you want, anything, any product, as long as it is technology based. It's just on the internet. So when I say technology based, I mean as long as it can, it is software. As long as it is um, it is um, it is the software part aspect of computers. So basically, if you need hardware, you can't get it directly from the internet. So um, I know we have many advertisements that, that make um, make that thing look um, figurative. Basically, it makes it feel as if you are 
dipping your hand into your computer and bringing out your product. No, that's not how it works. But we can actually make it work like that. But basically, we are dealing with software here, not hardware. Now, we have other concepts. If we want to talk about the internet, we have what's known as chat rooms. Now, these chat rooms they are basically platforms where users connect together and they chat and they message one another. And in this case, they are transferring information. So, internet is not just for sharing resources, as I mentioned earlier. We also share information. We share a lot of things in the internet. Then we have the um. A cyber cafe is a place where a number of personal computers are connected to the internet. Now these are the basically terminologies that are used when we talk about the internet. And next we have cyberspace. Cyberspace is used to describe the anything associated with the internet. So anytime you talk about the internet, you can say um, www.sololand.com is a cyberspace. So because it is one of the um, web pages that is on the internet. So that's what a cyberspace means. So anything, any site, any page, any whatever that you find in the internet is called a cyberspace. You also have to download. What does it mean to download? Now to download, this is the process of um of um, retrieving information from the internet, and it is retrieved from the internet to the personal computer. And you can download files, you can download music, you can stream software um um, um, um applications, you can you can you can download games, you can play games live on the internet, you can you can um, search the internet web browsers for information. As much as possible, and these specific specific browsers they are known as search engines. So when you use a, a, a an internet browser specifically to get information, you have it's called surfing the web, and it's, you are basically using a search engine. Then we also have email. Email is basically a kind of uh, mail that allows the user of the computer to send and receive um, messages onto the um, from the internet. So basically, once somebody in America could could send a, an email to me over here in Nigeria. And I would see that email to be delivered to me as soon as possible, as soon as, as soon as I get to the internet. So it's kind of like a um, live and direct transmission. So instead of um, making use of the post, you have to wait for days or try writing a letter to somebody in another part of the world. So you can just use an email to send a message directly, and the person will receive it at that instant. So we also have the home page. The home page is the start page of any web um, site. So basically, the first thing you see when you log on to when you type in the URL of the site and you load it, that first page that appears is called the home page. Then we also have the HTML. Now the HTML is a short form for hypertext markup language. Hypertext markup language. Now this is a computer language with some set of markup symbols. So and um, and just like you can those um curved those um sharp brackets. So it makes all those um arrows arrows those better than and less than symbols to enclose tags. So in HTML, in HTML they make it of tags, they make it of, um, of, 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 of styles and integrated with CSS and JavaScript you can get a um, fully functional web page by, by computer programming with HTML. Now HTML is used for producing web pages. We also have the HTTP. HTTP is the hypertext transfer um, protocol and it is the um, protocol of web that um, transmits resources over the internet. Now we also have um, different, um, this HTTP, so it's basically, it's, it, it resources some chunk of information that can be identified by a URL, which is a uniform resource locator. So web browsers and web servers communicate with each other with the language called HTTP. And examples of HTTP is this. So this is an example of hypertext transfer protocol. So this is the kind of the um, protocol by which um, computer browsers try and communicate with each other. So then we have the ISP. ISP is known as Internet Service Provider. So it's kind of like the um, network that provides service to you. So it's kind of like your um, the um, owner, kind of like the technical owner of your subscriber um, identification module. So th those are the people that could provide a, a network to us, like your um, MTN, Airtel, and so on and so forth. Those are all Internet Service Providers. Then we also have the Intranet. The Intranet is um, kind of like a private computer network within an organization and computers on this network communicate using the internet protocol but the network allows users to share secure surely um, securely in their information in their organization so this this is kind of like a chunk out of the internet it's called an intranet and it operates within an organization but it's still part of the internet kind of it's kind of like a room in a building and if that building is the internet now we also have to upload what does it mean to upload to upload is to um 
pro transmit um, a, a files from your local computer onto the internet. It is the opposite of downloading. We also have the protocol. Protocols like an um, internet protocol, transmission control protocol, they are basically the rules that guide the um, downloading, uploading, the transfer, and the um, um, encoding, decoding, and so on and so forth of information or resources on the internet. We also have the web page. Basically, a web page is um, a document or a resource or information that is suitable for the World Wide Web. And it's kind of like, um, it's kind of one of the, um, the, um, the um, it's one of the resources that are available on the website. So you have different web pages on the website. So there are other different things we can talk about in um, this. So an example of these web pages, um, this is just a page. It's kind of like what your screen shows. Now, for example, this is the home page of a Yahoo browser. And you can see the, um, the um, Yahoo um, 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 name is written in bold at the top, at the um, top um, left. And then you have the search bar. So when you click in the search bar, you, the, um, you can make use of the keyboard and type in whatever thing you want to do. This kind of like, this is basically a search engine. So and then you have pictures, all these ones, all these things are displayed using a particular protocol called the HTTP. And then they are, they are now, um, they are transmitted using a particular um, language known as HTML, then which is also augmented, making use of CSS and JavaScript. So these are basically, um, and we also have different types of, of um, web browsers. We have um, Internet Explorer, we have um, Firefox, we have Opera, Netscape Navigator, we have Google Chrome, we have uh, Microsoft Explorer, uh, um, we have Safari Browser, we have um, so on and so forth. There are different types of browsers. This is um, Firefox. It's a free and open source web browser which is ma ma managed by Mo Mo Mozilla Corporation. And Firefox is the second most widely used browser. We also have Opera. So these are all browsers. Now, basically, um, we've gotten to other um, aspect of this video, and this is in this one, we're talking about the different aspect of the browser. So a browser has a menu bar which contains the menu such as the files, edit, view, history. It is a bar underneath the title bar. So in a browser, in a web browser, you first have a title bar which is which contains which often contains the um, title of your web page. Then you also have the toolbar. You have the toolbar which contains the tools which you can use when you are browsing. Then you have the address bar which is the box at the top that displays the entire URL. And URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. So basically, when you're talking about um, URL, it's kind of like the address of that web page. So before you can get to a web page or website, you need a URL. URL will help you to locate that um, particular section of the um, server where this um, information is located, and it's then it will um, it will use that it will after locating it to send it back to your computer, and, and that information is downloaded. So basically, and when it's downloaded, it is the um, the um, the message is decoded by your um, by the, um, the your web browser and that web browser displays it using your graphical user interface. Now I'm going into the um, the basic peripheral um, of um, um, transmission and um, um, and all the rest of information, but that is is necessary for you to understand this aspect. So basically, this is as far as you can go in this video. And if you have any other things to comment based on this episode and this topic, you are free to do so in the comment section of this video. And you can also try the questions. Define internet, list two internet browser, state the benefits of internet, and state three abuses of internet. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next episode.